guys should I process G18 and this is another career mode and we're jumping straight into the action with the first match against Chelsea. Uh, another hard game, played them an earlier season in the cup and in the league, lost once and then drew I think 1-1 the second time. But uh, that was a great tackle by Vlar by the way there and then or outside the box bent, does a little cheeky back heel, Medell opens up and all Brighton is in with the rebound. Lovely play by Bent to open up the shooting opportunity and Czech could do nothing to stop that from going and after powering it into all Brighton's path. It was a good save. Much maybe should have done better, maybe used his hands, but what can I I can't complain, can I? I got the goal. And you know, Moses the whole match was threatening me down this right wing and Chelsea came close to finishing there with storage. Should have done better really. Then Ben Teke with a shot inside the box. Czech does really well to save that. And lucky to score again. And that's how the first half ended, 1-0 to Aston Villa. Uh, good, ma good match so far, playing well. And uh, this is the second half now. And uh, we straight away, Ben Teke is away, has a nice shot and a good save by Czech there to keep Chelsea in the game. Then Ramirez somehow gets his head to a cross by Moses, who also, like I said, has been threatening and scored. It was a good goal, but we should have done more to protect that. And then Bent... Into, well, tackles a lazy Cahill, that's a shot and goes narrowly wide, could have scored, very close to a going pass. Anyway, and a f quick free kick by Chelsea goes wide with Fernando Torres, doing quite a wayward miss there actually. Then SEN, I believe Michael misses from point blank range and that's how the match ended, last kick of the game nearly. 1-1, one, one, one apiece, uh, a good point away and now, uh, then we sim the next match against Spurs away no home and Spurs win 2-1 wasn't wasn't too happy with that and then this is the international management offers that I rejected like I said I would because obviously I'm going to concentrate on the NAC, on Aston Villa and do my very best to get them into the Euro League and then we sim the next game against Wigan and it ends 2-1 I'm simming the games to um well, I'm racing towards the transfer window. I want to get to transfer. I want you guys to see it because I'm really looking forward to it. And then here's the next game against Swansea away at the Liberty Stadium. This was a, a, quite a hard game, actually. Swansea, the Bar Barcelona of England. And straight away, Benteke is away and has a shot just outside the box and hits the post. Really unlucky not to score there. And then Agon Blahor with the follow-up goes wayward. Not a nice shot there at all. But Agon Blahor now is breaking away from the halfway line. Does great to break away from the Swansea defence. And Bent is there and has a weak header. And Vaughan gobbles it up. Like all keepers should do. Then Ireland on the wing. Passes it into Agon Blahor. Lays it off to Benteke who has another shot. Parries it and all Brighton again. Like last match is there to finish it. Two goals in two matches now from relatively the same position. He's getting into some form. Anyway and then Swansea break away. And a bit of a sweaty goal there by Swansea. Not not nice if the AI does that against you. It, it depresses you so much. But anyway, and we're straight after the kickoff. We have possession again in the, in the Swansea half. And lay it off to Albrighton. Has a crack with his weaker foot. And that is, is going to go in in his form he's in. He's in cracking form at the moment. And I mean, he, he's if he doesn't score, it's now annoying. He's so good at the moment. He's progressing really nicely as a player, actually. His uh, shooting's gone up dramatically, and I've scored quite a lot of goals with him, actually. Long-range shots and goals like that as well. Then Bent does, um, has, is unlucky not to score there. Good save by Vorm. And this, I believe, will be the end of the half. Yes, it's a sloppy shot by uh, Ben Teke, and that is how the half ended. 2-1 to Aston Villa. Good to go in at 2-1 at the half time. Good match. Playing very well. Got some good goals. And I'm going to form at the moment. Anyway, Swansea almost instantly have possession and they've scored. 64th minute and they've scored quite a good goal. I think Routledge, if I'm not not mistaken. And again, Routledge is there and he's had another cracking shot and Giffen does well to save it. Anyway, this is Hooper breaking away with his 80 pace and um, narrowly misses there. He's not His weaker foot isn't great, but... Um, it's two all still, and then Swansea have another break, have a long shot, and they they were just all the match. They were just I couldn't anything to defend. Aston Villa were just being ripped apart. Anyway, and that's how the match ended, two apiece, a good solid point there, keeping us firmly in our position in the table. 
good match. Anyway, this happened. In this match, Bent got injured. And I believe he was out for three weeks, maybe. But he was out for longer because, obviously, you can you can play him after a while. But he still has the plaster on. So I couldn't, couldn't use him for the next few episodes. You might not see him in there. Anyway, that is the end of the episode. Thank, thanks for watching, guys. Um, hoping this will go up onto the Injunction Mosh Bit. If you don't know what that is, I'll leave a link in the description. It's a great community channel, FIFA community channels, and great vids up there. So I re really recommend you watch that. So um, please like, favorite, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.